Webbs has been charged in relation to taking the life of three persons on Lincoln Crescent, Kingston 5. Law enforcement officers from the Major Investigation Division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force have charged a man in relation to the January 15th passing of three persons on Lincoln Crescent, Kingston 5. Charged is 21-year-old Young, also called Schweppes of Cyprusol, St. Andrew. Young has been charged with the passing of 34-years-old Lawson, 29-year-old Barrett and 20-year-old Nation. All of Kingston addresses. He was also charged with illegal possession of a dangerous tool and accessories to match. The police have also mentioned that all three men were standing along the roadway when they were allegedly armed by this dangerous individual who was traveling in a Honda CRV who opened shellings hitting all of them. The incident occurred at approximately 3.30 p.m. on January 15th. The individuals were all taken to the hospital where they were pronounced by the medical team. The police also mentioned that Young was charged following an identification parade. Two individuals from St. Elizabeth lost their lives in the parish recently. Two men lost their lives in separate incidents in the southern parish of St. Elizabeth. According to the police, in the first incident, a 62-year-old farmer was armed during an alleged confrontation with a security guard in the community of Barton. He is Robertson of Silo District in the parish of St. Elizabeth. The police's corporate communications unit has said that the matter has been reported to the Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau and the Independent Commission of Investigations. In the second incident, a 41-year-old fisherman lost his life at his home on Brigade Street in Black River. He has been identified as Bowling. According to police reports, at approximately 7.15 p.m., residents heard loud noises coming from Bowling's house and alerted the police. On their arrival, he was seen with multiple holes. He was later taken to the hospital where he was pronounced by the medical team. According to police reports, three persons were taken into custody following the passing of a man in the community of Bluntas near Treasure Beach. The man who passed away has been identified as 33-year-old Lewis, a construction worker of Treasure Beach. Police reports are that at approximately 7 p.m., Mr. Lewis was at an establishment in Bluntus when he was pounced upon by two dangerous individuals and a female traveling in a motor vehicle. They opened shellings hitting him multiple times. The police were alerted and Lewis was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced. According to the police, quick action led to the interception of the two men and the woman at Gutters near the Manchester St. Elizabeth border, where a search was conducted of the vehicle and the three were found to be traveling in it. The police say that a 9mm dangerous tool with accessories containing 39mm was found in the car. All three persons remain in police custody, however, their identities are being withheld pending further investigations. The son of Movado, along with Andre Hines, were yesterday charged in relation to the 2018 passing of Lorenzo Thomas in Cassava Peace, St. Andrew. The two were also found guilty in relation to an issue which happened on March 12th. They were tried before Supreme Court Judge Justice Leighton Pusey for the passing of Thomas, who was harmed and lost his life on June 5th, 2018. During the 12-day trial, which started on January 11th, the prosecution presented evidence from 14 witnesses, including the father of the man who passed away. The court heard that on the day prior to the incident, the elder Thomas received information that his son was going to be taken out and he had made arrangements for him to stay elsewhere. Later that day, the elder Thomas said he visited his son to give him some money for food and upon returning home, he passed the individual whom it is alleged to have caused his son harm, along with some other men entering his yard. According to the elder Thomas, he went into his yard and later saw his son arrive at the house. He said that he saw the two alleged individuals and other individuals standing near his fence for a couple of hours and pointed this out to his son. 
Thomas said that shortly after 3.30 a.m. he heard when the door to his son's front door was knocked off, followed by what sounded like some loud sounds. He said that he saw his son fall into the ground while clutching his upper area. And the two alleged dangerous individuals and two others were in his son's room. The father, who is still overwhelmed by grief, said that he heard signs asking if he, the father, should also be taken out, but that Brooks responded no. Thomas further told the court that he saw Brooks pass a dangerous tool to one of the individuals in the room who tried to take a part of his son, before declaring that the dangerous tool was too dull. The father said that the other person who was not before the court would have also issued some serious shellings at his son until the dangerous tool was empty. That person then requested some dangerous oil and poured some on his son and around the house before setting it on conflagration. During the trial, Brooks and Hines offered a defense of alibi, which was rejected by the judge. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all of the issues that have been discussed in this session. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.